Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, I will be showing you how to install the latest version of Total War Rise of Mordor. A new update was recently released that has added in two new maps, seven new units, one new faction, and adds in various UI features and fixes. Also, if you had watched my previous tutorial video on this mod, you will recall that you needed to install both Rise of Mordor and the RII Buildings mod as well. However, in this most recent update, the RII Buildings mod is included, so it really streamlines the installation process. So there should be no trouble at all to install this mod. It should be quite easy and straightforward. A few notes though before we do begin, make sure that your base game is set to English to avoid any crashes. Also, there is no guarantee that this mod will work with cracked versions of the game, so download at your own risk. And for those of you who have had previous versions of Rise of Mordor or the RIA Buildings mod installed, it is recommended to remove those versions first before installing the new update to avoid any conflicts. Alright, let's go ahead and get this mod installed. Now, the mod is not present on the Steam Workshop, uh, so Steam users and non-Steam users must use ModDB.com. I believe they do have a Nexus link as well if you don't want to use ModDB, but I just find that ModDB the easiest one to do. So go ahead and type in Rise of Mordor in the search tab until you get Rise of Mordor up at the top. It should be the first one there. And then go ahead and navigate over to the Files tab here. Also, I will leave a link to their Discord in the description, so if you are interested in joining, uh, they do run battles, and uh, there's Q&As, uh, you can meet the modders there, and they can answer any questions that you might have. But let's go ahead and navigate over to the Files tab here, and you can see just at the end of 2020, we got the Open Alpha version 0.3.5, so let's click on that. And then just go ahead and click the download now. You can see the file size here. Just confirm this. Keep this in the back of your mind. Because once we have downloaded it, we need to make sure that this is the same uh, size. If this is drastically different, then we probably had an interruption in your internet while it was downloading. And we'll have to delete it and restart. Let's go ahead and hit the download now button. I highly recommend that you guys do use Google Chrome for this. It just seems to be the most user-friendly... Uh, browser for installing mods and leave this ad up until you see that this begins downloading and then you can go ahead and close the ad. Now if you have a blank piece of paper here and it's not showing these three colored books stacked on top of one another, uh, chances are you don't have any extraction software installed. So what I mean by extraction software is that these are packed files, so they're condensed files that make them easier to upload and download but you're going to need an extraction software such as WinRare, WinZip, or 7-Zip. Those are the three that I kind of recommend. Uh, you're going to need one of those three to be able to download this mod. So if you don't have that, it's very easy. While this is downloading, just pause the video, go ahead to Google and type in WinRare free download, or WinZip, or 7-Zip, whichever one you prefer, and then just get that downloaded. And then once this is downloaded, you'll be able to right-click on it and then click open with and then select the extraction process. Shouldn't take too long. It's saying only uh, 45 seconds. So we'll just let the video run uh, instead of making a little 30 second cut here. But guys, if you do have any issues during the uh, downloading process, the installation process, the extraction process, uh, launching it in the mod manager, please leave a comment down below in this tutorial video, and I will try to help you out as best as I can. And if you did find the video helpful, please do leave a like. It really goes a long way to kind of supporting the video and getting it out there so that more people will be able to download this great mod. Uh, there we go, it is all finished. So uh, we won't need uh, Total War Rise of Mordor in uh, moddb.com anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And then I'm going to uh, open up two different slots here. So uh, this one on the left, I'm going to open uh, the Downloads tab. And you can see here it was 2.76 gigabytes on the moddb.com page, so I know that it has downloaded in its entirety. If it's any different for you guys, then you probably need to delete this and re-download. So don't even bother going any further uh, at that point. If this is saying like two gigabytes, you, you're missing quite a chunk, so just delete it and re-download. On this side here, you need to navigate over to your uh, Steam Steam Apps common Total War Attila data folder. So uh, most people do have it installed on their C drive, and it's Program Files 86, down to Steam, Steam Apps, 
common, total war Attila, and data. And then this is where we're going to drop our files into the data folder. So now we can come over here, double click on the WinRare. It's gonna bring up the ad, just go ahead and hit X. And you can just select all of these and drag them over into your data folder. And this is going to begin the extraction process. So go ahead and pause the video here because I will make a little bit of a cut and then we'll bring it back once this is almost done. All right, guys, just about done there. And there we go. So all files have been successfully moved over to the data folder. So we can go ahead and close all three of those windows and we can launch Total War Attila. And it will bring up our mod manager here. And when we click on mod manager, you should see the two files, Rise of Mordor Alpha Pack 1 and Rise of Mordor Alpha Pack 2. Now make sure that they are in the right order. If Pack 1 is below Pack 2, just grab hold and drag it above so that we have Pack 1 first. Uh, the load order is very, very important for running these mods. And then just go ahead and select them both and then hit play. Now I have to go in first and just uh, just minimize or, or mute their soundtrack because it is uh, copyrighted because it's Lord of the Rings soundtrack, but I'll see you guys inside the mod. All right, guys, welcome to Rise of Mordor, and I love the custom main menu here, the animation that they have, the Gondorian infantry, it looks like, under a crimson sky marching to battle. Very, very cool. Uh, they have a built-in Discord button here, so if you do click that, you will be redirected to their Discord, but I'll still leave a link to their Discord in the description down below. But let's go ahead and just quickly jump into a custom battle. I've got just a basic one here, set up Dogoldur versus Inladris. Let's go ahead and press start. Imladris, of course, is one of the new factions that has been added in, and I think a couple of the other uh, factions have received a couple of new units as well. Unfortunately, no Rohan, though. That's what I was really looking forward to. Rohan is one of my favorite factions in Rise of Mortar, so I was really looking forward to seeing them on the battlefield, but uh, it was just not to be. I'm sure we will get uh, Rohan eventually, and I'd rather they not rush it as well. I'd rather that they kind of take their time with it and uh, just make sure that it's done well. But let's go ahead and just drop our units in here. We'll press start, and then we can end the video. But it looks like everything has loaded in properly, which is excellent. Press start. And there we go, guys. So hopefully you didn't have any trouble installing Rise of Mordor. I hope that you enjoy playing this mod as much as I do, and I look forward to seeing all of your replays posted on various YouTubers' uh, channels uh, around YouTube in the future. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.